Singapore's 12th parliament set for the first time on Monday in the first order of business to elect a new speaker. I declare Mr Michael Palmer to have been duly elected as the speaker of this parliament. As the guardian of parliamentary privileges, I trust that honourable members will be mindful that those privileges should be exercised responsibly. I'm confident that even in the course of the most spirited debate, honourable members will adhere to the high standards of decorum and conduct befitting this House. The Leader of the House also highlighted the Speaker's duties amid the Parliament's Speaker. new environment. Front or back bench, pro-government or opposition, let us each resolve to find the wisdom through rigorous debate and impartial scrutiny on issues that affect the lives of our people. Let us, above all, have the courage of our convictions to speak out and do what is best for our nation. On this raison d'etre, Mr. Speaker, we entrust ourselves to your impartial and guiding hand and the mercy and finality of your judicious guillotine. Thank you. Singaporeans want members of the opposition to speak on their behalf without fear or favour. They want clear and transparent explanations from the ministers at all times. In this respect, I trust that, Mr Speaker, sir, you would allow sufficient opportunity for members of the opposition to express our views and voice the concerns and needs of the people. Mr Palmer also got this piece of advice. Mr Speaker, sir, I would like also to inform you that it's no longer a requirement for you to call me uncle from now on. <laughs> it is I who will address you as sir. Tributes also poured in for former Speaker members Mr Abdullah Tamuji, who was remembered as a strict timekeeper. He urged members to, quote, speak honestly, speak sincerely and without fear and let your conscience be your guide, close quotes. His wise exhortations guided members as they wrestle over significant pieces of legislation. You had spent time serving the community in your constituency, leaving little time for your family. Well, Mr. Tamuji, you finally have left politics and you can have more time for the family. Parliament will sit again next week to debate the President's address.